We have got our official check-in clothes on. We are about to go see if they're open. Look how dapper and smart I am. <laughs> and a little bit crinkly. <laughs> but at least you're clean. Clean for now. Clean for now. Let's go see if they're open. We've left our dinghy on the water. And we gotta try find out where we are going. Because we have no idea. So what we're looking for is the offices of the Harbour Master, Customs, Immigration and Quarantine, which in Thailand and Malaysia is easy. They're all situated in one area. Yeah, we need to find out where we're going and we also need to find out if we even have permission to be there. Something we're going to find out the hard way. And before we find this out, join us on a little tour through Sabang City. realized that it was our dinghy that was parked in their premises and so they sent two scooters out to come and look for us and escort us back to remove our dinghy from the premises. I am Indonesian shoulder, you come with me now. You must take boat now. <laughs> Thank you, Tadamakashi. So after we retrieved our dinghy, off we went to go look for the harbour master, which we actually found right on and when we got there, we realized it was a public holiday and we were asked to check in the next day. Right, so we were asked to check in at 9 o'clock on the Friday morning, mm -hmm. which we did. So we moved from uh, one mooring to the other mooring, which is right next to the jetty there, which is right close to all the departments and tied up on the mooring. Who came on first? Quarantine, they were there, man, bang, on time, yeah? Mm -hmm. Uh, and they came on board and they started their process. Mm. And while we were down below, signing papers and everything, we started hearing screams from, or shouts from the from above. We didn't know what was going on, so we, so we raced up and we saw that the mooring that we were on had broken loose and we were drifting towards the harbour wall. So that was quite stressful, so I went to go put the engine on Derek got us out of there and I untied us from this broken mooring ball. So while we were checking in, that was a lot of stress. Stress we didn't need right there. Yeah. <laughs> now we have no mooring. So we have to raft up next to this other old Coast Guard vessel that's moored on that pontoon. They're sitting here, we're sitting there, so it's all fenders, everything. Go, 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 go. So that's how the checking in started. Yeah. Quarantine, very friendly, mm -hmm. checked um, stores, alcohol, medicine, heads, cleaning, you name it, uh, vaccinations, and then they were done. Who was next? Uh, customs. Yeah. Customs and immigration at the same time, they came on board. Also, again, super friendly, no issues. There was an amount to get paid to immigration. Nick had to go to the bank with the immigration officer to pay the money into the account. Yeah, he was nice enough to say, oh, just come on my scooter, and then took me to the bank, uh, paid the our fee there, and then he dropped me off back at the boat. Yeah. Really and nice. A lot of information that he gave you as well. Yes. Yeah. 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 Which is very cool. Very helpful. Then we had Harbour Master on board, lastly. Um, and, yeah, all super cool, super friendly. Yeah. We then had to go pay another bill into the bank, which is quarantine, mm -hmm. and we need to go complete our vessel declaration at customs. When we were done with everything, three hours, everything was done, and most importantly, well, we didn't know this, everything gets done on the boat. Yes. Don't go anywhere we won't. until you've checked in. Exactly. Oops. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> So after all our check-ins, we got off that Coast Guard and off that pontoon and we went and looked for an anchorage. Let's get out of here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we could relax. <laughs> yeah. Stressful and 
very efficient and good at the same time. Yeah, it was only stressful because the mooring ball broke. Yeah. Yeah. After two days of squalls, we go and explore the anchorage we are in as Derek has spotted a few waves in the distance and wants to see if they can be surfed or if they are too shallow. Just a cruising guide from Andrew Scott to get clearer information on where we can anchor along the coast of Sumatra. We are not finding a lot of anchorages to choose from in the area of Sabang, which is forcing us to slow down and spend a longer time at each place we can anchor or moor at. We are currently in an anchorage just off the harbour with not much snorkeling options around us and as we love to get in the water, we look for another option. The only other place we can go to, it seems, is an island called Rubia Island. And it says there is no anchorage there, only mooring balls available. It also says there are resorts along the coast with dive centers. So we decide we must try it out and hope their mooring balls are strong enough to hold our sailboat. We need to motor through a narrow channel with reefs on either side to get out of our anchorage. Derek brought us in in quite rough conditions, and now it's my turn. Luckily though, I have the calm conditions. Once we hit the line, between the, between the mooring and the we are talking about is a track which we create on our chart plotter when we come into a new place. Then we simply have to follow it out of that new place. Okay, so you just head to the middle, yeah? Between that mooring buoy and that lateral, watch your depth or watch your front. Okay, okay now we've come up from um, 19 meters, now we're on 8 meters. says four mooring balls available. How many have we seen? We've seen maybe one. I'm heading there now maybe but one. there was supposed to be four and yeah. yeah okay but that was a while ago. I understand but right now it, we don't know what's going on. So we're just gonna try and check it out, check this mooring out, otherwise we're gonna head back on out here I think yeah. It looks like such a nice place to visit. We have to stay here. We might have to anchor somewhere. 
I don't know, is anchoring allowed here? I don't know, because the pilot also said there's no anchorage. Uncertainty! Prevails. Love it! <laughs> <laughs> Not. Not. Yeah, that looks strong. <laughs> it's like a life vest. There's a couple of life jackets. Tune in next week to see if we could anchor in this beautiful place or if we had to go back to our anchorage by the harbour. Thank you for watching and remember to hit the like button and click subscribe if you haven't already. See you next week. Bye.